Hey there friends, Nibs again. I'm out at the range today doing a little shooting. Thought you guys might like to come along and, and see this fine old gun I have here. Um, this one is actually one of the very first uh, true target guns that I ever added to my collection. And honestly, it's probably still one of my favorite uh, as far as uh, ones that didn't belong to somebody from my family or whatever like that. But um, what we have here is a Remington Model 513T. This particular one was made in 1952. And when I got it, uh, it just had the Globe sight and the Redfield sight on the back. And I added this scope on here. And this is a inertle. Hope I'm saying that right. J, J inertle scope. And this is a 14X scope. So you can really see very nicely. Uh, I have shot this thing all the way out to 100 yards and it's a very good shooter all the way out to 100 yards. Today the wind's not really cooperating with us too well so I'm gonna keep it at 50 yards today but uh, we'll do a couple of groups with with this guy and I do have a camera running down there on the 50 yard target right now and uh, we'll be able to see <coughs> how well I can do. Like I said, there, there is a little bit of wind. It's not too bad right now, but it's kind of up and down and swirling around. So, so we'll probably uh, not get the best, absolute best groups of our life out here today, but it's still fun to get out and, and test. So uh, I have a target out there with the little I think they're inch and a half bullseyes and I'll shoot at the upper upper left one with this first group here Ooh. pulled that one a little bit off to the left I can see the winds moving the target so Same hole, I, I did, I did kind of zero it, I don't, I don't know if, I did check the zero anyway. I guess more than anything we're looking for our, our grouping, not so much everything being exactly in the middle of the target, so. Not a bad looking group so far. I can definitely see the wind is uh, really pushing stuff around out here though. All right, that's not a bad looking group. So that was with uh, one of my favorites, the Gecko Rifle. And uh, we'll do a, another group with the Gecko match here. We'll try that. Honestly, I, I've tried this this ammo against the Gecko rifle in the past, and it has. Uh, <laughs> I really hadn't noticed much difference between the two, so I'm not sure that they don't just put the same ammo in a different marked box and sell it for twice as much <laughs> but all right so we'll go to the the cent, the top center bullseye with this one looks like the same point of impact as the last one looks like uh, we got some rain clouds moving in here on me so hopefully I can get a few videos done today Same hole as the last one. I uh, spent the morning doing some work at the house, taking care of some stuff, uh, fixing a few things for the church, some lawn implements that needed repaired, things like that. So, that's a 
that's stacking up to be a nice little group. I really, I really do believe that this ammo is no different than the, than the rifle, but. Same hole as the first two shots. I think it went through the same hole again, from what I could see. So maybe the match is a little bit better. <laughs> I got a brick of that at home too, so we'll uh, keep trying that. But anyway, I don't want to keep you guys too long on this one, but uh, I thought you guys would like seeing this old timer. I have done a video or two on this one in the past, and uh, it's definitely a lot of fun to bring out. Here's the uh, Inertal Scope 14X. Uh, this is a later production scope. Uh, they made these clear up into the 90s. And, uh, I believe this one actually is one of those productions up into the 90s. But, so you saw those groups, um, and uh, they're pretty good, especially for the wind we got swirling around out here. But uh, let me go ahead and uh, Go ahead and shoot one at the gong here before I let you guys go. Hopefully I don't hit my tripod. <laughs> the tripod's out in front of the gong here, so. Nope. So there we go. Always love shooting that gong. Gotta do it before I let you go. But anyway, hope you liked the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and you'll be notified when I do post up new videos. I really appreciate everybody being on the channel. Things are growing great, and I uh, really like to keep that momentum up. So invite some friends. And until next time, have a great day.